You remember the 1960s and 70s, and I'm going to tell you all about a famous lady comedian from back in those days, not Mrs. Maisel. She was fictional. We're talking about the very real Toadie Fields. I am married to a man for 26 years that walks into his own closet like an amnesia victim. <laughs> he has never seen anything that's hanging there. Everything is so... Oh, look! Oh! Sophie Feldman, better known as Toadie Fields, was born in Hartford, Connecticut to a Jewish family on May 7, 1930. At four years old, she was singing on local radio stations. In her teens, she worked in what was called the Borscht Belt of the summer resorts in the Catskill Mountains in New York State. Shortly thereafter, she was singing and doing comedy routines in Boston nightclubs. After marrying comic George Johnston in 1950 and having two daughters, Fields began to gain weight and incorporated this into her act. She did lots of self-deprecating jokes about being heavy and dieting. She was 4 feet 11 inches tall and weighed 170 pounds and always seemed happy just the way she was. Ed Sullivan gave Fields her first big break when he booked her on his show after seeing her perform at the Copacabana in New York City. She made many appearances on his show as well as The Mike Douglas Show, The Merv Griffin Show, and The Tonight Show. Other TV work included The Carol Burnett Show, Here's Lucy, Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, and on the Drama Medical Center. While appearing on The Mike Douglas Show in 1974, Tony met the band Kiss, who were making their first national TV appearance. Fields joked that it would be funny if lead singer Gene Simmons, under the makeup, turned out to be just a nice Jewish boy. Simmons, who is not only Jewish but was born in Israel, responded, You should only know. Simmons and Fields became friends and remained friends until her death. Fields also appeared on several TV game shows in the late 1960s and 1970s, including Hollywood Squares and Tattletales with her husband. Speaking of game shows, in recent years, some of the networks have tried to revive the game show format for television, and I think they've had mixed results. People don't seem to have the attention span or patience for game playing on television, but back in the day, I'll tell you what, that was the greatest thing, and it was a, a daily thing. I mean, they had several game shows on every day. What do you think? Could game shows still make a comeback? Survey said. Fields had many health problems in her life. She suffered from diabetes, and in March 1976, she had surgery to remove a blood clot, but it failed, and she developed phlebitis. In April of that year, her left leg was amputated. While recovering from the amputation, Fields suffered two heart attacks. In October 1977, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and doctors removed her right breast. Bravely, she continued to perform. On August 2, 1978, Fields was preparing for a two-week engagement at the Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas, but on the night before the opening, she was stricken at home by a blood clot, suffering a pulmonary embolism. She was taken to nearby Sunrise Hospital and Medical Center, but sadly, she died. She was only 48 years old. Her ashes were interred at the Mount Sinai Memorial Park Cemetery in Los Angeles, California. Tody Fields really lived out the slogan, the show must go on. She was a trooper. Well, thanks for watching my video. Check out all the rest of them. I would appreciate it. And I'll see you again next time, unless I come to my own sad ending.